bringing the people behind our food to life. As far as the future, I, I think that the biggest challenge that, that we have in farming has to do with, with our supply of labor, especially with uh, immigration concerns and with border security concerns. Um, and I think that with a lack of understanding in the, in the general populace about who is doing the work in American agriculture, um, it's just a, a, going to be a tough environment for us farmers that rely on people that are willing to come out and work. We rely very heavily on, on Hispanic people, migrant laborers to come and, and pick our crops. All of the cherries that we pick are picked by hand. And the cherries that you see in the grocery store that you buy, uh, fresh market cherries, all of those are picked by hand. Somebody has gone to a cherry tree, set up a ladder, climbed up that ladder and picked that piece of fruit off the tree and put it in a bucket. And that is becoming a real, a real challenge to have people that are willing to come work in our, in our cherry orchards. When I was young, um, it used to be that uh, the high school kids from town would all come out and work in the orchards. And now the high school kids, um, we have a real tough time hiring people like that. One is because labor laws are very tough on um, hiring uh, minors. Uh, some of that is well deserved and others of it is just kind of ridiculous. Um, the other thing is that kids don't need to work. Their parents will buy them that car. Their parents will pay for their college oftentimes now. Whereas one generation ago, uh, kids would need to work in order to pay for school and that sort of thing. And uh, let's face it, it's hard work. It's hot in the, it's hot in the orchards, it's dusty. Um, it is physically exhausting at times. And uh, as a general rule, our society has moved away from those type of jobs, has shunned actually those type of jobs as being grunt work. And uh, I think we've lost our appreciation as a people of the real rewards from hard physical work. Thank <laughs> you.